Eric's haircut on camera today. Good as normal. Good as normal. It's the longest I've had a phone holder. I always kill them off too. So I don't use them anymore. I put them in carry them, put them in pockets and stuff. I tried doing that. Kill a sitting, phone or two. Sitting on it and it's like. Yeah. But it looks very different. So did you call the the warranty on that pole saw? No, I didn't. They were all overwhelmed. Uh, I was like, so then I looked at the 800 number and went online because they had a website and it says just refers them to their fix it place, which is Home Depot. Uh, <laughs> yeah. I was like, fuck that. Good luck on that. Yeah, exactly. But I did save it because I know how you are. Yeah. I'll throw it away. Eric might be able to tinker with it. Yeah. Maybe we'll get it to work. Or what I was even thinking with everybody buying them and doing stuff, I wonder how many people ended up, you know, there might be a, a run on a, a flooded market of parts, maybe. You it's know what possible. I mean? I don't know what I was thinking. Right. Awesome. Exactly. I want to see how you do his hair. And you go to like style it. Okay. Because I, I feel like I do a decent job. You styled his hair. Heck yeah. That is sweet. Cause I wouldn't let him go out looking like he's going out with me. Yeah. You can't go out all like looking nasty. <laughs> you, rep you represent yourself and me. Oh, well, whatever. He looks adorable. Whatever. No, yeah, that's because I help him. Yeah. I laugh though, cause I always say we were talking the other day, and I said, well, you know, the whole point is, is that you don't want to be with somebody not cute. No. So when people are hitting on you and thinking you're cute, I get flattered. Because, <laughs> uh, duh. I'm not blind yet. <laughs> and if they want you, yeah. for the right price. <laughs> Eric says as long as they pay rent. Hey, exactly. Well, <laughs> or groceries, the way things are going. I don't <laughs> care. We can't even buy a, five things of eggs anymore in Alaska without it being, what, 20 yeah. bucks, you know? As long as they contribute. Now, I, well, I figured for years I was going about it all the wrong way, mm -hmm. you know, so now I have been hanging out and meeting these little people, and they really like that whole, you know, clean my house and work in the yard thing and bitch at them the whole time you do it because they like it. I just don't <laughs> think there's a goddamn thing wrong with that. No. <laughs> Scrub my toilet, do the dishes, you worthless piece of shit. Now I'll step on you for a minute. No, no, you know, they're, yes, please. Now, why, did you clean out the gutters? Get up there. What the hell is wrong with you, low life? In this, wear it. <laughs> and the neighbors are going to watch, you know. <laughs> Look, bitch, I don't even have to raise a finger, just my voice. <laughs> why is my house not painted? You know what I mean? Exactly. Bitch, I said I wanted dinner 10 minutes ago. Exactly. So it doesn't bother me. I had to giggle though. I had one little person like, wait, wait, I was a professional houseboy once. I'm like, that That makes you really enticing. <laughs> it's like, really? And I'm like, no, not for sex. <laughs> for all the housework I hate doing. Exactly. <laughs> Why is the toilet not sparkling? Right, that toilet better be effervescent. <laughs> Bubbly and sparkly. And I mean under the rim. Yeah. Or they're screaming at them the whole time, whack on them a couple of times with the writing crap, you know. Okay. good. But they like it. Exactly. And I get a clean toilet bowl. I know. See? It's a win-win all, win all around. Yeah, all the way around. I can have a boyfriend and Eric can have extra money. Right. The win-win. A colony? Is that what you said? <laughs> oh, a I colony? Want, I don't want a harem. <laughs> yeah. No, I we were saying I could have... Um, of house boys. Uh -huh. I could have a boyfriend oh, and Eric could have fabulous. extra money. Oh my god. Oh, extra money. I thought Why are my grapes not peeled? No, I refuse to eat these. Yeah. Because I can have a I want my Oreos separated produce. this direction, not that direction. But he doesn't get that. I see a speck. He can have one if he contributed. And the, the cream of <laughs> the can, Oreo. He can barely handle me. You are in trouble. <laughs> 
Now there's two women I don't understand or know what they want from me. He couldn't handle that. You know what my favorite part about Eric would be is, is pretty much the catch to it all is why are you talking? <laughs> Just look pretty. Quit talking. Eric would like be in the garage all the time. Right. Tinkering on his things. That's good. Hey, that your husband came in handy for me. I think he's fucking adorable. That light's all working in the whole nine <laughs> yards. You go, Eric. You're a fucking stud, dude. I know he is. That's not Jack about Hammer. The clock. Jack Hammer. Go, Eric. Go. I brought it, but it was so funny. I was like, what is that? And I'm like, I had Jessica's husband fix it for me. Yay. <laughs> <laughs> he's pretty handy. Exactly. Yep. And you know it fucking, and then the lights go out, right? Oh, yeah. <laughs> totally came in. I'm like, yeah, it works. Woo! -hoo -hoo -hoo. I was like, where'd you get that light? Oh, that's the one that Eric picks. It's such an easy fix, too. Well, the sad thing, right? They would have made it so shitty, it wouldn't have had to be done at all. Oh, yeah. And I went to Home Depot looking for another one of those. Right. Because it looked like it would be quite handy with working on stuff. Not a single one I could find. Isn't that wild? Like, they, God, they're awesome. They, they probably got so many, you know, return is, you know, low quality on the, the connection. They decided not to carry them anymore. Right. Because that's what happens is... They keep getting them returned, and they're pieces of shit. And they're like, they don't, they don't care to tear it apart and say that was shitty engineering. I have a new friend uh, that lives over in Wisconsin, and he's a mechanical engineer, and that's his job is to break it, make sure it lives to specs. Yeah. If it doesn't go to specs, why? And if it makes it to specs, tough shit onto the next project. Hmm. That'd be fun job to have. Hell yeah. So I can break shit. <laughs> well, what we need to do with everybody that we know is we need to build a pumpkin chunker. Yes, we gotta do that. We gotta do it because Phoenix really wants to do it. A trebuchet, a air cannon, I don't care. I was thinking like on the like the third, like October thirteenth or the twentieth. What would it take, honey, to build that? Yeah. Which. Let's, let's you want to do a trebuchet? Trebuchet or... Let's do it. A, yeah, let's do a trebuchet. Because Phoenix would love that. And, like, we have a park right by our house. It would be a perfect place to... Right. My dad also has 300 acres up yeah. the road, too. Yeah. <laughs> we should have our own pumpkin chunkin'. We're we going, yeah, we're going to do... Let's do it. We're going to... Like, the 13th or the 20th of October. So how do we figure it out, Eric? Let's do it. It'll be fun. Find the parts and pieces. And we'll videotape it because they'll fucking love that. We'll actually make their TV show. Honey, what day do you want? Like, you gotta work on the 20th till 4. So, do you wanna do it the 13th? Am I off on the 13th? Yeah. We can do that. Or we could do the 27th, but that's the day, like, that's when everybody's gonna be having their Halloween parties. Yeah. Let's do the 13th. 13. Cool. Done it's on. Done. Write it down. Alright. Okay. Alright. We're going to do it to 13. Yeah. We'll figure it out. How big of a one? It doesn't have to be very big. Big as that tripod. You know what I mean? Enough to throw a little pumpkin. See how far we can chuck it. Once we get that all worked out, hell yeah. My dad's got all this scrap material. We could make one scale. What are you guys doing with that? Take it down the castle. Yeah. <laughs> Alright. Taking down the Castle Omega store. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, the world comes to us in, in the the zombies attack and Eric runs to the Hey, I'm gonna go looting, I'll be right back, honey. <laughs> comes back with all the stuff in the dildo bag. <laughs> You're sick. We might not have food. But by God, we're smiling as we're sitting around in the dark. <laughs> as we're dying. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, darn, end of the world, they said might as well go out on top. Might as well go out with a bang. Exactly. I said, you know, okay, so we've had the weather. We've had the flooding. 
It's getting too cold for locusts in Alaska. Yeah. So no locusts. We'll have to postpone them till next spring. But you know, October is coming, so that means the zombies will be here soon. There we go. Yeah. So you know, flood, wind, zombie apocalypse, we're all good. We're all good. You know. We have earthquakes every day, that's covered. Yeah. You know, the, the volcano hasn't blown up until what was it like last year it blew up. So we had yeah. a volcano, you know. Have to postpone the locusts. They kind of came, though, this summer because they ate um, the blueberries in the Anchorage Bowl. Oh, yeah. Did they? Mm-hmm. Yep. That you had to go to Hatcher Pass or Gurwood to get oh, blueberries. Oh, see, there is. We even had the locusts. There you so. go. We've got it all covered. Yeah. Halloween, zombie time. Mm -hmm. We even had the zombies covered because you had that guy who did the bath salts in town, in town square. Ha! <laughs> Remember that? He was out of it, wasn't he? I he forgot was. about that. <laughs> Oh my god, yes. He was like the start of the zombie apocalypse. Yeah, that was stupid. I don't know why I don't have any brain left. <laughs> what the fuck are you doing, dude? Stop smoking a rock salt. Yeah. Oh. And then it damages their brain so badly that mm -hmm. you can't, they just don't function ever again. And you have this whole legal system that is figured out by functional people, a medical system, you know, you kind of figure out what's left working on this guy. Not that he didn't have a crime, but is he even going to even fucking understand it? No. You know? Ugh. They're not even really worth organ donor either. Right. Well, you can after that because you toxified your system. So are you going to do a fundraiser every semester? Sure. Yes. Hell yeah. All, each semester, every time I go, hell yeah, whatever it needs, I'm raising the money. My goal is out of pocket and scholarships. That's yeah. my goal. And I know I can do it. So, oh well, maybe an associate takes me until the last kid graduates. Who cares? Who gives a shit? Exactly. You know? Uh, just what it does in your self-esteem. I mean, all the stuff that I've taken in the past... I've used it and people are like, oh my god, why, you know, it's so easy to talk to you, it's so blah, 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 you're different. And, or other people have been like, oh my god, it's like, what happened? Therapy. You know, it's like, because that's what I studied. Yeah. <laughs> really, who knew I was actually studying for proctology because I just totally helped you pull your head out of your fucking ass with exactly. one haircut. Exactly. <laughs> And I need that with love and respect. <laughs> you even washed your hair off for you. Yeah, exactly. What, no tip? Just <laughs> saved your marriage. The fun thing we've been having fun discussions on is how younger people have so much more open points of view on marriage now mm -hmm. that it isn't scared, you know, nobody's scared to talk and tease and joke and flirt or swing or slap or whatever the hell it is that they're doing because that doesn't get a dildo with a heartbeat, you know, it doesn't have anything to do with your relationship, mm -hmm. you know, I think that's so awesome. Kids just make me laugh. See, that one's better. Mm -hmm. Don't you approve? Yeah. It looks look. a thousand times better than when we first met. Well, and you still loved him then. I did. And he still put up with your yap in your mouth then, too. <laughs> That's because it was all new. 
Now not, <laughs> now not so much. <laughs> ah, ah, now not so much. Don't you love how us guys are? Okay, it's been a whole eight months. Could you just not bore me anymore? Yeah, could you just shut <laughs> the fuck you shut up, the please? Hell up? Yeah, what in a rag, 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 bitch, rag, rag. Yeah. What? We have to keep communicating after we're married? Yeah. Damn. I, I hate that clause. <laughs> Did you know? It's a contract. And who put that clause in this contract? Love, honor, obey, and shut the fuck shut up. The yeah. <laughs> That's, that, I ain't ever getting married again, just so we're clear. <laughs> Here's your script. This is all you're allowed to say, and only yeah. during sex. <laughs> yes. <laughs> yes, yes. Oh, God. Best ever. Can't believe it. It's so big. Oh, God. Yeah. <laughs> no, honey, no. Yes, honey, yes. Oh, did I get those backwards? <laughs> yes, no, no, yes. Banana, banana. Yeah. <laughs> That's our safe word. Right. Look at your mind. Yeah, right. <laughs> My dad had this song because he plays guitar and it used to make me just goddamn laugh, right? So they'd be drinking and partying and he's entertaining everybody at the lodge and he'd be like, All day, all night, Marianne, who the hell do you think I am, <laughs> Superman? You know? <laughs> and my mom would just giggle and blush. <laughs> I'm like, no wonder you guys have been married forever even though you don't like each other. <laughs> Eric's got really easy hair to do mm -hmm. because it's naturally curly and it sticks up. And so I always cut it all crazy and jaggedy on purpose. Right. So it's got like that young hot guy, but just, I know. just enough. Yep. That's how you tell you did a good haircut on your husband. Yes, dear. Yep. <laughs> and that's all I do. And then I take like a little bit of uh, fiber or pomade. Uh huh. And then I. Uh, just kind of put it through his hair. I like it. Sometimes he comes in because of his hair texture. He's got so much too much product. Mm -hmm. It's like this. Yeah. But it's going to make it stand up and do its thing. But if you go out here, it's going to totally make it go. Yeah. But if you go under here, oh, the product you. holds it up gotcha. instead of weighs it down. Ooh. So you just kind of go underneath. And then the other thing is because it is all chopped up, you take your fingers on the yep. edge and get those crazy edges. And there you go. <clears throat> and it works for him because he totally has that mad scientist working in the garage look anyway, right? He does. <laughs> the lights yeah. in the house, she's out there, all of a sudden the lights. I know. Oh, honey. No, I'm good. <laughs> <laughs> I'm good. Know. And you know that that 46 amp breaker held out in that <laughs> little, you know, <laughs> 10 amp light socket. Don't worry. I'm good. Can you find my other eyebrow? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, exactly. He cuts hair, but can he do an eyebrow extension? <laughs> yeah. And the good news is, honey, remember that nose hair that you hated? <laughs> it's gone now. It's on my eyebrow. Okay. There you go, Big Daddy. Uh, thank you. Oh. Yay. Yay. All better. I'm all pretty. <laughs> <laughs>